Okay, we will start here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 10, Spatial Animation, Part 2. In today's episode, we research further the idea of 3D audio. What does it mean? We thought of it as horizontal stereo and vertical stereo. Um, we researched a bunch of links and stuff, and one of the key points that is technically distinguished is binaural two ear recording is a superset of stereo recording and there's this sort of technical rule which this picture shows that where we hear and perceive the sound to be upper lower left or right or dead center is created by our brain based on what it's hearing in the left and right ear and so as a general rule for binarial, binaural results in audio recording and reproduction system, from microphone to brain should contain one set of pinna, which are your ears, and a head shadow. So a head shadow when the sound comes at you like this, the sound's directly hitting the left ear and it's some of the sound is being shadowed by your head and hitting the right ear. So that's kind of a technical result. We also um, created a six scale score using the uh, the four scales I've been working with. So to remind you, we've been working with these four scales over and over again. And when you combine them into what we call shadow scales, this is a shadow scale that has 3663 and 4554 down here. And then you get the bright scale, which is all the notes that are excluded. You get the shadow scale, which is all the notes together, and the shadow common and the shadow uncommon. And you can decompose those into separate scales, which we did over here. So the D flat 1661 tritonic. That's the scale here. And there were three other scales that came out of doing the same thing down here. E flat, 1322, two, C226. Two, two, and we just started to play around. And this is one of those outliers where it only has one note. So we created a six note scale. Then we kind of jumped back into our 3D audio and said, let's work with our previous composition, this one. Um, and And see if we can do something a little more persuasive with the with the binaural recording. So this is what we have now on the left, right, back, left, back, right, left, right, back, left, back, right, like that. And we proceeded to make that into an animation that looks like this. And the premise is you may not exactly, you, you can hear left and right, and depending on how sensitive your ears are to high frequency, which, for example, my left ear is less sensitive to high frequency than my right ear, which tend to throw off the illusions a little bit. Um, visually, if we show top, front, left, front, right, back, left, back, right, does this help? Does this help um, with the illusion? So. So let's play this a little bit. So it definitely reinforces feeling that there's something different about those four sounds. That, that we can agree on. Um, let's record that before we forget that. Adding the visual definite, definitely reinforces the perception of audio spatial uh, dimension. Yeah. 
Yes, yes it does. So, so we did that. So what we're going to do, um, we'll play this whole animation and that'll bring us home. So here we go. So again, listen, left, right, forward, backward. What do you hear? Assuming you have either stereo headphones and or you have stereo desktop speakers that you're pretty close to. notice is there's a little bit of leftover color in in like the bottom left when the sound stopped and we were we know because we're driving that with volume that that means there's a little bit of sound left over in that track which we know from the score we stopped playing there on the other hand you have to remember so in other words the score See, these are all clearly separated on the, when they're not playing at the same time, like up here, this is not at the same time as this. And, and even if this might linger a little bit into here and show up as a color, we don't expect it to because piano cuts off pretty quickly. On the other hand, because we're running it through a, through a special effects processor, this thing, it could very well be, um, could very well, if we, if we zoomed in on it, we would see the leak, possibly see the leak here. Where they're not overlapping on purpose, like right in there, that could be a leftover uh, piano. So that's probably what that is. Anyway, this concludes our stream. Our ideas for next time are to listen and reflect some more, which is a bit of a pun because part of the way this thing works is it has reverb and reflection. Uh, and to be determined. So thank you for your time, attention. A shout out to Loser Bench for asking questions. Thank you. We always appreciate interaction. We actually interacted this time, um, caught it in time. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, and as always, keep on streaming.